All right, hey guys, welcome back to a new video. As you can see, got a Game Will FCI S3. I actually had this for quite a bit now, but it was just the the cabinet and the screen. It wasn't the um, actual board itself. I just got this yes, not yesterday, a couple days ago. Um, yeah, it was like eighty five dollars. No problems with it or anything. I'm not sure why it got taken out. But I assume it has something to do with that battery terminal. Because it looks like it's charred. Um, yeah. So this cabinet screen are brand new. I had it for probably maybe half a year. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, we got a Gamewell FCI ASD PL3. Or 3PL. I'm going to say PL3. Then I got a Silent Night IDP Pole DA, and then the PC2W LED. I think this has system sensor sync enabled or something, but we're gonna find out. I got tape on this because I don't really feel like making too much noise today. And just want to show you guys that velocity really doesn't pull that slow. If you can see it. But it does take kind of a little bit to for this to show that it's an alarm. I'll show you right now. It takes like two seconds to go an alarm on the panel though. The touchscreen is actually pretty responsive on this one. Um, if you guys are longtime members, you guys would have seen that I've done an inspection with uh, about 11 or 12 of these panels. It was an apartment complex. And they were terrible. The touchscreens were so unresponsive, and they just had a bunch of problems with that system. It's been fixed now, I believe. And that's actually where this came from. They had a lightning strike, and this was the main panel. Or not this one, because this one's brand new, but they used the board out of this one. So that's where it went. It was the one in the leasing office, which is the first one in the video. But yeah, it's got a little minute countdown screen, but it goes by fives instead of one by one. And then, I'm going to show you this neat feature that they have, I think it's info, yeah. Level 1 password is all 1s, by the way. So then you click on SLP hardware info, and it shows you all the voltage and even the NAC resistance uses 4.7 K's and as you can see they're all basically 4.7 K except the middle two but that doesn't matter it shows the battery voltage the charger current the system voltage it shows all that cool stuff um this is the screen info it's what shows up on every reset and then this is the SLC I did an auto configuration because this, the board on this one, oh my gosh, when I got it, it was like fully maxed out. It had two SLCs programmed into the max, everything up to 159. 
detectors, modules. It was crazy. All the troubles just kept coming in. I just had to wait a good five minutes to acknowledge it. But yeah, I'm going to do a... Actually, exploring. <laughs> nah, I don't want to reboot. Never mind. Input output. Wow. Um, let me pause this. Let's see what this does. Oh, what's this? I think you could toggle it on and off. Cool. Um, That one now. Whoa. Loop zero. Okay. So loop zero, range zero, edges five. Loop zero, range zero, edges five. Enter. Enter. What? Oh, there it goes. It's actually pretty responsive, like I said. Um, yeah, this video is kind of getting a little long, so I'll just exit this. And yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Look out for more stuff with the main system. See ya.